Hey everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Star Trek Fleet Command. So I've never played this game before. I'm excited to give it a shot. I do love Star Trek. Um, and right away it looks like we are using the rebooted characters, as this Scotty is clearly a Simon Pegg look-alike, and that's fantastic. Love Simon Pegg. Thank goodness you're here. I'm out here in contested space, and... Hang on, you're not part of the Federation, and you're not Klingon or Romulan either. Well, whoever you are, we need your help. I'm actually half Klingon, half Romulan. 25% Federation, 75% Borg. It's, it's, a, it's a mix. I'm picking up a distress call from a nearby colony. We're going to have to take your ship for a look, Commander. What's wrong with my ship, dude? Go to the mission objective. All right, I need to locate the disturbance, so let's do it. Travel here with your ship to find the source of the distress call. Okay, well, it looks like there's a big exclamation point floating in space, so that seems like something I should check out. And I like how they give you these X and Y coordinates. That's pretty amusing considering we're talking about space right? So shouldn't there be, I don't know, a Z coordinate? Anyway, whatever. Go. Maybe it's just a top-down look. Okay. A Nausicaan vesicle. Cease your bombardment of this colony or we will open fire, says Scotty. You think you can defy the might of a Nausicaan raider? I will paint the stars with your blood in my master's honor. Oh my god. God, what kind of master wants the stars painted with blood? All right, Grack. Commander, we can't let that ship attack the colonists. Red alert, attack them. That's right. We're going to paint the stars in their blood for our master. Select the enemy ship. All right, so this is Gaveler's Scout, and let's just click on it. Attack the enemy ship. All right, so here it is flying around. It's got no cargo, which is a shame. Its strength is 143 compared to our strength, which over here is 171, so it looks like we can beat it. Um, and we'll attack it, and we'll fly over here, and we're just going to break it, I guess. And they fight. They're dancing around, lasers, shields... Target destroyed. Great job, Commander. Mr. Sulu couldn't have done a better job himself. I don't know if I really did anything, but I appreciate your kind words. Gavilar and his Nausicaan raiders have been threatening us for weeks. Thank you for intervening. Hopefully, they will leave us alone from now on, says the colonist, with his hands clasped so appreciatively together, and his collar popped up to conceal his poor orthodontia. All right. Um, glad to have been of service, Commander. Let's head back to the station. Yes, let's do that. Recall your ship. Go. Here we go. Boom. I'm sure you're aware that you've been flying about in the middle of a war zone. I, The fact that you've survived out there can't have been through sheer blind luck, though. Actually, I haven't really been aware of anything. I just kind of came into existence in this game. Um, but I appreciate, again, your support. You're a very nice person, and you're boosting my confidence tremendously. The Federation Klingons and Romulans are engaging in open conflict... If you keep growing, everyone will want to recruit you to join their faction. Oh, really? I hope that when that time comes, you'll choose the right side. Ooh, a little heavy on the propaganda, huh, Scotty? Claim your mission reward, all right? Click this check mark. Mission complete. I got a hundred cinnamon sticks. What's this, then? I'm detecting wreckage nearby. It's from a Klingon vessel. Let's go see if the computer core is intact. Examine the Klingon wreckage. Yep, let's do it. Travel here with your ship. Do it. Let's go get this core. 
The damage was caused by Romulan disruptors. I'm sure of it. I'll beam what's left of the computer core on board. Get us back to the station. Head back to the station. All right, then. Great work, Commander. I might be able to decipher something from this Klingon technology that may be useful. Well, that's good. Um, all right, so let's complete the quest. And we get some more cinnamon sticks. That debris you took from the Klingon wreckage. That was mine to sell, says the Regalian hunter. Man, I really like the pattern on your jacket. Your fashion is next level, sir. I'll come take it by force if you don't hand it over. Are you kidding me? I just blew someone out of the sky. Sounds like we have some business to take care of. Let's find this fellow before he causes trouble. Okay. Um, here he is. The Regalian Bounty Hunter. Um, and... His ship is 143 strength, which is just like the ship that we just annihilated. It also looks identical to the previous ship. Um, and so I feel good that we can take it. Let's attack. Destroy the Regalian ship. Go ahead. And we're fighting. And oh my goodness. We're lucky this one wasn't packing a bigger punch. Let's head back and check on the station. Okay. Return to the station. You seem to attract trouble, Commander. Makes me wonder why you're out here on a frontier like this. Now, I don't appreciate that accusation, Scotty, because I wouldn't have gone after that Klingon wreckage had you not told me to do so, and then that invited the trouble. And then there was somebody else attacking colonists, and I was there to actually save trouble that was pre-existing my arrival. So your cause and effect attribution is alarmingly wrong. Bounty. But I'll take the rewards. We need resources to get up and running again. Par steel's the most basic you'll need for the station. Help me build the par steel generator. Okay. Tap to take a look at the station. Let's look at the station's exterior. Go to the station interior. Well, all right. So this is what it looks like on the outside. Okay, that's cool. And then tap on this area to show what we can build here. Okay. Um, I can build a par steel generator. Apparently, it only takes 10 cinnamon sticks. Um, and it will make it. Okay, build it. Timers under five minutes are free. Okay. So I'll just click it, and then we just made it. Great job. Collect the par steel from that generator every once in a while. You can build everything needed to make this station powerful. Okay. Um, I'm kind of trying to piece together what's going on here. So I was found randomly flying around, and then there's this station that has no construction on it that Scotty's at, and we need to build it up. And I've been recruited to do that. Great. Mission complete. Now that our par steel is flowing, we need a place to store it. Build the par steel warehouse. All right. Yeah. Well, we got to store it somewhere, right? Um, okay. Build it. Yep. Right there. And instantly build it. Perfect. This place is getting better by the minute. It really is. There was nothing here except a big jumbo television with a list of bad things, judging by this red exclamation point, and now we're doing great. Mission complete. There are some more Nausicaan raiders lurking about. No doubt they'll try to get their hands on our par steel. Let's not wait for them to attack us. You know what? You're right. Let's not wait for them. Um, let's go to the system, and let's just obliterate all these jerks. All right, so we're going to scan for enemies, sending a message. I don't know what that means. Go. Let's go over here. I see some bad guys. There's the Nausicaan ship. Let's send them a message that we will not be pushed around. Attack them. 
That's right, we won't be pushed around. We'll push you around. We'll do the pushing around here. Um, and it's the same ship with the same strength, so I feel pretty good that we'll take this down. It's the same picture for the guy as well. So... Let's do this, and we got it. That's enough pirate dispatching for one day. Recall to the station. Um, looks like I have some sleepy signs on my ship there. And recall. Okay. And there we go. We made it to base. We're only getting started. Sending a message. The operations building is the core of the station. The more powerful it is, the more powerful you and your ships are. Sure. Alright. Build operations level 2. Focus on operations module. Okay. Um, this will increase our weapon damage bonus by 1%. That seems good. Upgrade it. Um, and then it's free because it's under 5 minutes, so do it. And then much better, upgrading the operations building will unlock new areas and allow the station to grow in strength. That's good. Awakening checkmark. Mission complete. It's not just the Nausicans we have to worry about. This is contested space, and there have been reports of increasing Romulan and Klingon patrols. Man, this is really contested. It's a dangerous galaxy, but there's strength in numbers. Find other independents out there to join an alliance with. I see. Um, join or create an alliance. Uh, sure, let's join... Um, Oh, Mandalorian. They're not very strong, but I like the Mandalorian. Smart move. The more friends you have out here in the void, the better. Complete this mission to collect your rewards. All right, I did it. The more resources we have, the faster this place will be purring along nicely. Build another Parsteel generator to help with that. Okay. Um, so let's build one. And let's just click on that. And then we did it. That'll help. There's something I've been working on that I can't afford to lose. It's a good thing you were around to help get this done. All right, Parsteel Generators. Well, more cinnamon sticks for me. Um, there's a Nausicaan Interceptor coming into sensor range. Perhaps it's a friend of Grax. Let's give him a warm welcome, a.k.a. murder him like we did to Grax. You interfered in my master's plans. You have made Gavilar angry. He sent Nurix to destroy you. So you're Nurix, speaking about yourself in the third person. But your mullet suggests that I should take you seriously. Commander, before we battle this Nausicaan, we need to repair the ship. Oh, we do? Okay. Um... Select my ship and then repair it. And it's going to take two minutes. Um, but I can just click free because it's under five minutes. And we did it. All right. Um, oh, look. Well, before I do what he actually wants, I'm going to click on this where it says claim and just see what I get. Um, I get a server transfer token claim. Um, done. And then I get a four hour free chest. Done. And then I get a 10 minute free chest. And I say. Ooh, dilithium crystals. And I say, done. And then I just say, thank you for all these gifts. I'm so pleased. Um, officers, there's a, a badge on this. I don't know what that means. Uh, is this me? Cadet Sulu? Um, I guess it is me. So I'm, I'm like young Sulu. Okay, cool. Um, what's going on with my alliance? Rewards. First time alliance chest. View. Claim. We get some platinum and some speed ups. Um, okay. What is this? Help. I can just click on help, right? Help all. Help everybody. I don't know what they need. Alright, so let's go ahead and eliminate this Nausicaan Interceptor. Um, again, same, same deal. We repaired our ship. There should be no problem. And, uh, go.
I see. It takes me just time to physically fly over here to even fight it. He was no match for your realta. No, he wasn't. Get back to the station and I'll get things in order. All right. So we got a victory. Go ahead and get back to the station. And see what's even happening. Um, we're almost there. We're flying. And there we go. Scans show a ship dropping out of warp. Ah, there's my beauty. I'm flattered, Scotty, but I'll go ahead and assume you're talking about the Enterprise. Oh, it's Chris Pine, Captain Kirk. Very good. We're on route. We're on route to the Fibonin Republic. Starfleet granted my request to get you back on board sooner than expected. Wonderful, sir. I'll just mop up here and beam right over. Tell my wee man, Kenser, I've missed him. I'll let you tell him yourself. I have him restoring main power to our weapons right now. Kirk out. All right, then. Well, my friend, it looks like I will have to leave this base in your capable hands. Starfleet, uh, Starfleet probably wouldn't approve, but they have more pressing matters to deal with. It is pretty funny. It's just like, you just met me about ten minutes ago. And you're giving me an entire Starfleet base to control. I appreciate, again, your uh, tremendous faith in me, your confidence in me, and the way that you boost me up, given that I'm a complete stranger with no Starfleet training, at least I don't think. I have no idea. But before I go, I have a gift to thank you for your invaluable assistance. I've been working on a prototype artificial intelligence program. Hello, Montgomery. Oh, my. So, Maya here um, is going to help me. Ah, uh, there she is. Maya. I'm, I'm probably... Am I pronouncing that right? I named her after my first sweetheart. Lovely Edinburgh girl... Red curls, freckles like the stars at dawn. I'm um, sorry, where was I? Right, Maya. She will help you build and maintain the station in my absence. Very good. Montgomery, the Enterprise, is retrieving an away team on a nearby planetoid and wishes for us to take you there for your departure. Hi, it's time for me to go, lass. Let's make a move. Yes, let's make a move. Take Scotty to the rendezvous point. All right, let's do it. I'm going to click on this, and it's going to take me 16 seconds to get there. But that's okay. Um, go. Here we go. We made it. Not a problem. Um, okay. Well, now what am I supposed to do? Um, locate. Oh, here. Okay, go there. I clicked the wrong thing. I get it. Enterprise to Mr. Scott. We're ready to depart. Aye, sir. Just saying my goodbyes. Now, I have lots of advice for you, but duty calls, so listen up. Attack the hostile ships you see flying around the star system for loot. They'll rob you blind and deserve no better. Take what you can get. Keep on improving your ships in the station. If you don't, you'll find your rivals outpacing you. Stay ahead by being prepared. And last but not least, space is big. There are loads of people looking for your help. Accept missions from as many planets as you can find. The rewards will be worth it. Now, my independent friend, I'm leaving the station and Maya in your capable hands. Make me proud. All right. Well, training wheels off. Here we go. And Maya's saying, I'm picking up a distress call from a nearby mining vessel. They are under attack by the Nausicans and request assistance. Okay. Save the prospectors from Nausicaan pirates. Ah, it's a good old times, protecting prospectors from pirates. Yes, it's San Francisco in 1840. Terrific. Um, mistaken identity. Go. Here we go. We're flying quickly. 
we've arrived. This Nausicaan vessel matches the configuration of others you have fought. It appears to belong to the warlord Gavilar. You insult me. I am Gavilar's sister, Erquin. Or do you think all Nausicaans look alike? Oh god, I didn't want to say anything. I thought it was like a cheap art, art budget or something that was causing them to reuse the same image. And now I'm a monster who has been speciesist and getting the gender wrong. I'm, a po I'm sorry to all Nausicaans. Um, let me just vow to keep a more open mind. I will claim this victory for Nausicaa. Destroy Urquen's ship. All right. Now, all Nausicaans aren't the same. Um, but their ships look the same, and that's okay. Let's attack it. Go. Destroy it. Here we go. We're flying in. The Realta. Cruising in nice and smooth. And... We blew him away. Thank you for the rescue. It's getting more dangerous by the day out here. Is that your prospecting garb? Where's your pickaxe? Okay, excuse me, and mistaken identity, done. There's a large warship approaching. Its configuration is unknown to me. They have sent a request to communicate with you. What have we here? You are not Starfleet. What a quaint little ship you have, too. I am Sub-Commander Senelis of the Romulan Star Navy. Yes, you are. I respect your haircut. A bounty hunter wanted for high crimes against the Empire is hiding somewhere in this system. Maybe you could bait him out for us? Sure. Before we trust you with that, I would like to know that you can handle yourself. Go and find and defeat a Regalian destroyer. Even you should be capable of that. Ah, uh, you're so friendly. I love Romulans. Okay, um, great. Well, he's really nice. Let me go to my base. They didn't ask me to, but I'm going to do this anyway. Um, and it looks, we've got some stuff to collect. We've got some cinnamon sticks. Um, can I build some more stuff if I want? Um, oh, looks like I can't build anymore until I have operations level 8. And my character level is 2. I don't know what my operations level might be. I need a Parasteel Warehouse level 2. Alright. Well, can I do that then? What happened here? Is this broken? Oh, no. I can upgrade my... Oh, I can upgrade it. Yeah, do that. And then... Um... Can you upgrade it? Yeah, free. Do that. And then go over here. Now, can I upgrade this one? Yeah, sure. Instant. Whoops. I didn't mean to use my currency. No, it just is instant, right? Because it's under five. And then... Start building. Great. Upgrade this. Now, this is going to take six minutes, so I actually have to wait on that. But we'll wait on that. Um, go and defeat a destroyer. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's find one. Um, locate one, please. Did you do that? Here's one. Yeah, go go attack this guy. Just just fly over here really fast. My ship's a little slow, but we're going to get there. Hmm, maybe I underestimated you. What, did you think I was going to die? Anyway, we get some cinnamon sticks. And so, you can aim a torpedo after all. Actually, I was using my lasers. Very well, the bounty hunter we're seeking should be nearby. If you assist us in his capture, the Empire will allow you to remain in this sector. Thank you? But, anyway, I'm just going to claim this chest. 
Oh my, officer experience. Terrific. Um, upgrade the station to level 2. I did that. Construct another thing. I did that. Upgrade it. Oh man, look at all this stuff. I'm getting like just all kinds of terrific rewards. Um, okay. Alright, so I need to look for the renegade bounty hunter and we'll just do that. He's over here. Um, and I'm just going to go. I don't know if I'm strong enough. If I need to heal. I don't, I'm not sure what this white bar is. If this is my health or my shields. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Seems important. I've established a link with your ship. This way I can assist you. I am scanning this planet for the target. Target located. I have found the fugitive on the other side of the system. If you intend to subdue him, we should set a course immediately. Well, that's what I was planning on. Go. Um, disable the bounty hunter ship. Do it. Ah, uh, he's the same. My strength has gone up. So, that seems pretty good. You have my gratitude. Resourceful independents like yourself can make a name for themselves, you know. Come to Romulus someday and serve us again. Yes, it's my pleasure to serve you. Okay, we did it. And we get some stuff. Anyone out there, please respond. I've had to crash land my freighter on this planet. There's no breathable atmosphere out there, and we'll have, we have a hull breach. We're running out of time. For every repair we make, another rupture occurs. Save us. Hmm. Okay. Upgrade operations to level 3, so we get a reward for doing that. Upgrade parasteel generator A to level 3. Go. How do we do that? Oh, operations level 3. And we get some fun stuff for that. Uh, it's going to cost 35. Okay, yeah, I guess do that. And then... Um, Alright, exit. And then... Build the Orion Corvette. Well, I mean, I probably want a Corvette. I'm guessing. Ship, uh, well, I have to have a shipyard level 5. I don't even have a shipyard at all. Um, I mean, I want this, but... Can we get a shipyard here? Shipyard. I need operations to be level 5. Alright. Well, we're, we've got a ways to go. Uh, before that's even a thing. What is this? Um, this is the academy. Um, if I upgrade it, I get a, a bonus to my stats. Well, yeah, do that. Um, finish the previous building job in order to upgrade the new building. Okay. Um, where's the other building job? Oh, it's here. Can we just speed this up? Yeah, good. We did it. Oh, man, and we get some rewards. Um, okay. Can we upgrade you? Do that. And then just click on it. And then what about you? Can I upgrade you? Oh, yes, we can. We clicked on it. We did it. Um, let's upgrade this thing again. And then we did it. And we're, we're just in such good shape. Everything's happening. We can upgrade this. And let's just click on that. And we did it. The Academy is now level 2. And we got a recruit token. Very good. Um, okay. Looks like we can try to upgrade this. Yeah, upgrade it. Perfect. Um, Alright. And then... I don't know what this is. Server downtime, maintenance, okay. Fair enough, and then they want us to, oh, there's a bunch of missions here. Daily goals, what is this? Um, advance your station by upgrading modules. Well, okay, we, we collected that one at the very least. Um, and there's other stuff to do. It gives us a bunch of rewards, that's terrific. What is this? Um, you need help? Yes, I'll help you. I don't know what I'm doing. Or maybe somebody's helping me. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I did. And we need to locate and help this guy, so let's do it. 
Let's give him... It's just a small favor, so we can help him. And we're here. Someone's here. Oh, thank you for coming to our aid. I have critically wounded crew, and my ship is tearing itself apart. Can you help us? Yes, I can. How will you help the Regellians? Um... I can recruit Bones to treat the wounded, or I can recruit Spock to repair the ship. Um... Both of these seem good, but let's get Spock. We're able to contain the hull breaches? That will give us plenty of time to make the rest of our repairs. Please take my wounded to safety while we get to work. Okay, um, we did this, so we get these rewards. And then return to your station, okay. It's going to take us some time. No, we're doing it. We're, we're on route to do that. Here, go back to this. Um, we would have never survived without your aid. On behalf of the Chelin and all of Regal, I thank you. Well, you're welcome, my friend. Um, and then now what do we need to do? Mission complete. Nothing. So we get Instructor Spock and 50 experience. I don't know what that means, um, but that's great. You can enhance a ship's offense and defensive capabilities by assigning an officer to it. Repair the reel to first, then manage the ship to choose an officer and assign them aboard. Okay. So let's go to this and let's repair it. And then we can just finish it because it's free. And then manage, I guess. And then assign officers. And then let's assign Spock right there. And then we get a bonus 10% to attack and defense. That's terrific. Confirm. Um, upgrade. Now, I don't have enough of these cubes to upgrade my ship, but what I do have is I can upgrade my officers. As you recruit more officers, remember to assign them to your ships to strengthen your fleet. Fantastic. Crewing up. We did it. As officers gain more experience, they can level up to enhance their abilities. Choose an officer and increase their level. Okay. Um, well, let's level up our captain here. And so if we level him up, he gets 6 strength, attack, defense, and health. Terrific. Okay, very good. Um, let's level him up again, just because that's cool. And then let me level up Spock once. And then we're... twice. Great. So now both people are kind of ready to roll. Remember to level up officers regularly to maximize your fleet strength. Sure. All right, so we get some more stuff. I detect two Nausicaan ships approaching. One of them is hailing us. You're trying to make an ally of the Romulans? You should have thought about that before you became an enemy of Nausicaa. My champion, Barlak, is here with his fleet to destroy you. That sounds great. All right, everybody. Well, I think this is a great place to stop this first episode of... Let's play Star Trek Fleet Command. Um, I'm playing on PC using Bluestacks, and it's totally free to download. And if you want to play on PC just like me, click the link below in the description and install the game. It does help out the channel, and it just lets you play the game with the mouse just on your PC. It's great. Um, I will pick up in the next episode and take on these just very overly friendly Nausicaans and see if our base can get upgraded, if we can get some more iconic Star Trek crew and just have a blast with uh, this game. I'm having fun so far. I think it's pretty polished and well made. It seems friendly for a free to play person like myself. And let's just see how it goes as we get further into it. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day and I will check you in the next episode. Take care.